It's Bazadze against Ibrahimov. And Bazadze fast, furiously off the line. And well, the lights have just come on and they're blinding. Yeah. Bazadze just. come on on the back rink of the uh, back bank of lights and uh, mm. um, do you know what the problem is it's nothing to do with the fences the fences are more than happy to fence in this light in fact I think they probably prefer it it's for the television audience they will turn those off mm. you see from this high angle I think they're going to stay with that high angle because if they go down to the bottom you're going to see uh, well an empty stand basically because all the supporters have been put on the same side as the referee. So Ibrahimov levels the score. Oh. Nothing given. <laughs> Referees Vadim Gutsait, the uh, Ukrainian saber fencer, who was in the Olympic, he was a team Olympic champion in Barcelona in '92. Oh, a big long attack from Bazadze there. <laughs> Couldn't finish. Ibragimov just able to get out of the way, and then his turn to attack and just accelerated through changing line as he did yeah didn't find time there and uh, I just looked down to see Christian Bauer in the box indicate go for a video on that one it's definitely a ploy of uh, Ibrahimov he's waiting for uh, Bazadze to step in too fast, but his hand back. We get a little bit of a review here. See the hand drops. Right, drops there, there, it goes there. back. It's okay. attack on preparation. And it was a good call from, uh, well, it's actually a call from uh, Christian Bauer, the coach for Russia. And Ibrahimov gave him a little salute. Thank you, sir, for telling me to go for a video on that one. You'd be crazy not to listen to Christian Bauer. <laughs> he mm. knows his sabre. Arguably the most successful coach of all time across all weapons. Finds the blade this time. It's one light, but uh, even if there were two lights there, Ibrahimov picked up the blade. And that gave him the right of way. Right at the last minute, watch this. There's the beat, and there's the hit. Think Ooh. about that one. I think he actually looked down to uh, Christian Bauer to see what his reaction was. Oh, that's from Bazadze. Not seeing the uh, fireworks from Bazadze just yet. But he's got a little bit of a limp going yeah, on. Yeah, a little bit of a niggle in his ankle. I think that he, he picked that up uh, early on in the round of 32. No, nothing given there. Yeah, so Ibrahimov not uh, picking the right moment to go in on the attack into preparation because Bazadze started just that little bit slower off the line to develop his attack. And again. Yeah. It's incredibly difficult to call some of these close ones. You have to be a real yeah. sabre expert. 
Now, was there a meeting of the blades there? Our referee's uh, convinced enough to go and have a look at the video here. I don't think this is as clear as uh, the previous two. Yeah, attack into prep for me, and that's what Vadim Goodsight's given. And it, again, just struggling with that uh, left ankle, and now taking a hit to the backhand as well. Happens in Sabre, but um, Sabreurs are made of tough stuff. And uh, there's no one tougher than Sandro Bazadze. Wow, Bazadze was quick that time, but Abragimov was waiting for him and got him with a power of pass. Beautiful, beautiful hand. Look at that left. Just finding that. He looks so smooth and calm when he does it. Again. Coming, stepping forwards with his arm coming backwards. That's what's happening to the Russian off the line. He's, he needs to stop going into the middle so deeply. There you go, better idea. Yeah, but this but time, double step. And now uh, now it's a call for uh, the video from, uh, from Ibrahimov. But uh, Christian Bauer says, no, that's on us. And yeah. so he's thrown away a video. And uh, I'll tell you what, Christian Bauer... He's not allowed to be coaching here. He thought he thought, <laughs> he thought they were in the break. He, he thought but they're it not. was going to the break, and he, he, he just he got a little bit confused maybe with the score. I don't know, but he can coach when it's uh, when you get to eight. It's wound up, Sandro Bazadze for sure, big time. He is upset that Christian Bauer got a chance to have a couple of words with his athlete. And it's it effectively had an opportunity to change his tactics. And you watch, uh, well, here we see Abrigimov going off to talk to uh, Bauer because. He uh, has a brother that fences, Becker, he's been at this tournament, and uh, the father is their coach, Marab Bazadze. But it's Alexander Torchuk in the box for Georgia in Sabre Day. And he really, honestly, Sandro Bazadze over the last couple of seasons has really picked up his game. Oh, he's beautiful parry post, levels the score. Yeah, he's, he's always been a... a, a in the nicest possible way, a bit of a brute on the piece, but he's added another dimension to his saber. He's now got a much more clean tactical game. Oh, no, it's got to be a yellow card there. No? Not a, it didn't start early, and I think uh, Bragamoff, Bragamoff got up his hand early enough to say, sorry, yeah. I just wasn't quite ready. So no card for him for stopping unnecessarily Ooh. either. First time out of the middle, really. And that's why, that's why Christian Bauer doesn't want him coming off the line so fast because if he comes off the line fast he's forcing Bazadze into the only tactic he knows which is to, to match it to come off the line at 100 miles an hour he wants Ibrahimov to vary stuff off the line and see again he's stepping in now he's trying to draw things oh, Bazadze finishes beautifully there and th this is the risk because what Bauer is relying on is uh, Ibrahimov's normally really superb defense doesn't get away with it this time as uh, Bazadze just hesitates, or not hesitates, he just delays the end of his attack. Yeah, they're, they're so twitchy on the line. 
as Azzy comes in, oh. stops, restarts again. Class. That is pure class. To pick the moment to jump in on the counter like that is superb. And it, I think uh, Sandro Bazadze acknowledged how good that was. Yeah, countered and then got out and of the way. Blocked the blade as well. Yeah. There's no chance of him getting hit. He picked the moment so well. Missed on the first one, yeah. Bazadze. He missed on the first one. Don't call for a video, Sandro. You'll lose it. Yeah, coach has told him you did miss the first one. Sometimes when you're inside the mask, your reality is adjusted a little bit and you think it's yours. You've, you've, you've decided what to do. You think you've executed it, but you've actually missed. 1-1 oh, one, one in terms of the uh, yeah. off-the-line <laughs> appeals. <laughs> I don't think we'll see that again. No, I think the card will come out. Hesitation for me. Ooh. And uh, Bauer put his finger up there to uh, Ibrahimov saying, you've only got one video left, don't waste it on that. Just accept it was a bad decision. I don't think it was a bad decision, but I think Bauer thought it was. Yeah, look, there's an argument there here. Stop there there's an Bizantic. argument here for that hand coming back. I, I, not, not as convinced, but it was enough for uh, Vadim Goodside, the replay. referee, to go back. Yeah, all right. Attack, so no. Repost, no. And then it's the right of way to uh, Bazadze, and Baz Bazadze goes after it, and uh, he's now called for the doctor. That ankle has finally given way. Uh, look, I don't want to suggest that anyone is using uh, a medical break as an opportunity to reset, but if there ever was a time for that to happen, it would be a good time for Sandro yeah. Bazadze right now. He did hurt his ankle earlier in the tournament. That is for sure. Yeah, no, he no, I'm not. I know he's not. genuinely got a dodgy ankle. It's the timing of it is convenient. It's well within the rules. He's taken the spray. The coaches have been told they cannot go and talk to the athlete. Although Christian Bauer did sneak up and have a couple of words <laughs> with uh, Kapil Ibrahimov. <laughs> so eleven apiece. This one is really, really close to call. I think if you were going to pick a winner, it would be the Russian, Ibrahimov. Yeah, me too. Attack parry, repost, no. Continuation of the attack from Bazadze misses somehow, goes into the guard and develops into another repost for... Look at that. Mm. I mean, just great stuff. Neither of them were ready that no. time. Nothing given. Yeah, part of Tush. No hit, no separation. Well, that time Bazadze came in, stopped, pulled back. A long attack. Oh. And, oh. oh, it was all there for the taking yep. for Sanzo Bazadze, but he didn't get his arm out. Watch this final action from the athlete on the right. Finds the blade, it's his attack, it's his attack. Watch it. And then the arm just breaks yeah. halfway through. It doesn't go fully extended. Will he rue that mistake? Yeah, unforced error there. Oh, oh. lovely. Really superb, world-class hit there from Kamil Ibrahimov. He was absolutely superb on that one. And Bauer got up out of his seat to applaud him. Beautiful hit. Whoa. So Bazadze just being told in no uncertain terms from the, by the referee to get on guard. And for me, that is Ibrahimov's Bazadze. Claiming it, but here we go. 
And that is it. Kamil Ibragimov is through to the final. Sandro Bazadze arguing the case with the referee, but he's already checked. Now, good on Vadim Goodsight there. Often, look, I see why Sandro Bazadze is calling for a video there. And technically, the referee who'd already gone to see the video can actually, he can, he can be forced to go back and watch it again if the losing fencer appeals. And what Vadim Goodsight said to Sandro Bazadze was, there's no point in you calling for a video appeal. I've watched it. I've yeah. made my decision.